Kimmy Babes, we are celebrating milestones. So much has happened. My goals list has been going through the roof. And when I wrote my goals at the top of this year, I manifested a lot of things, of course, you know, more so like a million dollars in my account, you know, like anybody would. But no, it wasn't that. More so, it was my content goals of what I wanted to reach this year. I wanted to accomplish getting 5K followers, getting into the LCK program, and getting at least 2K followers on Instagram. Guess who accomplished all of those? Little old me. Okay. <laughs> Little old me. Every time I think about it, I just get so excited because I manifested this at the beginning of the year that I wanted to do these things. I hope that you've been following along for the journey because we have so much more to share, so many different things going on. I just want to say thank you all for the support showing up and out every week and giving me words of encouragement and really just watching everything that I do on all my platforms. We're going to get into a fall makeup look that I've been cooking up in my little head while we talk about the milestones. We will be doing our fall makeup look, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about the 5K followers on TikTok because, oh my goodness, I am still in awe that I reached that because I thought I was never going to get to 5K and simply because I feel like I've been at 4,000 forever and ever, amen. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it's not like I don't post consistently, but I also have to remember that I did not post like the beginning of last year on TikTok. Like I didn't start posting back on TikTok until like last August. And so, of course, you know, I was getting back into the swing of things and how I wanted my content to be. And I feel like this year has just been a little bit more different for me. Like last year, I was so focused on the clone videos because a lot of people did love those. Of course, that's why they followed me. But I wanted to get into something different, just do more different things. So with this year, I decided that I wanted to do skincare and I ended up working with It Cosmetics. So that's why I transitioned into that. So I wanted to do something different this year instead of just always doing like makeup. I feel like as a content creator, you have to switch it up. You have to be willing to try new things. With me, I don't really like to do a lot of skincare simply because my skin is already sensitive as it is. And so I was kind of scared to go into the skincare route, but that's why I always just make sure that I do my research before I even tell you, you know, to go buy those products. That's just how I am because I wouldn't want to tell you like, hey, go buy this product. And then it actually is something that will really affect your skin. I can't really tell you how to get to 5K followers, right? only one tip that you can really tell yourself is to be consistent and look at the analytics and just be able to figure out ways to be different, how to show up for your audience. What's another way that you can, you know, basically tell them about different products. And also like this year, I decided to do product reviews. Last year, I wasn't really talking on camera. This year is more so me like getting into talking more on camera, talking about the product, what do I think about this makeup product? I really feel like the reason why I was able to step out of my comfort zone to do that was because of YouTube. Because last year I started speaking to y'all, like last August, I told myself I was just going to step out of my comfort zone and just start talking to you on camera. And I just felt like YouTube would be the best thing first before I dive deep into having my content where I'm talking on camera. And now it's so crazy. I always want to talk on camera now. I'm just very proud of myself that I... Put that on my goals list as well to talk more on camera because then that connects with the audience and they're able to hear what you feel about the product review. I've honestly been enjoying those product reviews. And like Elf Cosmetics, they said something on my video and I fell out, y'all, because I was like, what? And it was on a talking video. I feel like my audience has been able to connect with me because I talk a little bit more on camera compared to what I used to like last year. And I love that. For sure. And just really like engaging with my audience is really what I love to do because I mean, I want to build a community. It's more than just content creation for me. I just love how everyone has just been engaging with my videos. It has been such a really great experience just being able to get to know my community. And now that I have all 5,000 of you is, is just insane. 
and we are manifesting 10k next my bestie treated me out to tacos which is one way to warm my heart because i love me some tacos and she treated me out to pretty little tacos here in atlanta which was so good and we had drinks and everything to celebrate all of my accomplishments so far and i had such a good time and just realizing and basking in it like wow like the blessings are just coming in for my content journey and i'm just so excited to see what more that it brings and what more goals that i accomplish so i really appreciate that she did that because we had a ball okay like we were having so much fun and it just felt so good to celebrate and I have to constantly tell myself because sometimes I'll be like eh, should I post that I made 2,000 followers or should I post that I made 5,000 yes you should because that's a huge milestone and you know you should definitely celebrate yourself and anything that you do that you know that you put hard work into definitely celebrate it so if you're wondering like why did I take a hiatus from TikTok at the top of last year the reason being is because I really didn't know like really what I truly wanted to do content wise. Like I still just was confused on what to really do with my page because I was still doing like a little bit of comedy videos like in 2022. And so I just felt like at the top of last year, I didn't really know what to do with TikTok. So I just kind of like put it on a back burner and just focused on my Instagram and my YouTube. Of course, at the top of the year with jobs, everything is like super busy. And then me and my husband, we had to move. And so by the time I really was able to focus on anything, literally May came in. <laughs> and so really, I just decided to get back into my YouTube in May. And that's when I was just like, okay, I'm going to do my videos this way. And then that's when I started doing like the clone videos. And that's when I felt in my heart, like, okay, maybe I should go back on TikTok. Like, let's see what we can do. Let's see how has it changed any, because me and TikTok, we really have been together since 2020, which is honestly crazy because I mean, of course with Instagram, I've been there longer. But with TikTok, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like I've been on it since like 2020. And that's with the dancing era. Like we was having a ball, okay? Even though we were in a pandemic, so it wasn't too much of a ball, but you know, that's when I had really started. Getting into TikTok and I just decided to do like comedy. It'll be some fashion and makeup here and there, but really I was like dancing, which was crazy. Back then it just felt like the algorithm was just so terrible. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But also I didn't really care about the numbers. I was just more so like just having fun. And I was just like, well, it's just something different to do. You know, I'm not gonna really take it so serious. But then I don't know, I just kind of got addicted. At the top of last year, I just really didn't know what to truly go for anymore because I was just so tired of the algorithm and not feeling like my stuff was getting pushed out but you know of course i'm gonna say the algorithm is a little bit better i can't really say that it's 100 percent oh my god but i feel like it's it's getting there but other than that i got back on last august and i was just like you know i'm just gonna see what happens and then that's when i just started putting my videos back on there and i was just like let's just see what happens and then that's when you know the community started building and people were wondering like, how did I do my clone videos and, you know, doing my makeup videos and everything. So just really focusing on that and realizing like, okay, like clearly this is the angle that I should go in instead of going in the comedy angle like I was doing. Like I feel like now uh, I love the direction of my page. Like I love the way that it's going and I love the flow of it. I did love the flow of it last year, but I really love the flow of it this year. So I've been trying this technique where I've been putting like setting powder on my eyes and it has done wonders for my eyeshadow because don't y'all hate when your eyeshadow like does like this weird like crease. I've been doing this for maybe two weeks now and I've been loving it. And I told myself that I wanted to share this with you. So definitely try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you do. So now that it's set, I just go in with my powder puff and I just basically blend it in before I do my eyeshadow. But I love to use my fall palette. Um, it's the Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette, this big old thing. I'm thinking of going with maybe, I don't know, we're gonna trust the process because in my head I'm thinking of something and then like now I'm thinking of something else. So we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna trust the process and see. As far as Instagram, I reached 2K followers on there and it has been a love and hate relationship with Instagram. 
I don't express my concerns because, you know, what is that to do to complain about an app or whatever? But my husband definitely hears about it all the time. You know, how frustrated I am with it. My friends, like, we'll talk about Instagram and stuff. But it's a love and hate relationship with Instagram. And y'all know that the algorithm has been on one, especially nowadays. I feel like in 2021, I want to say 2020, it was a little bit decent. But now it's just worse. Like, I'm like, how in the world am I getting all these views, but I'm not getting the likes? But then you get the likes, but then you don't get the views. It's never a match. But I know before, like, when I went viral, you know, all of that matched. So that's why I'm just like, okay, something is completely off. But y'all know they keep implementing all of these changes. It has been absolutely crazy over there <laughs> with all of these different updates. Every time I go in there, I'm like, wait a minute, that was not there before. And funny enough, like they had just did another update. I don't know if you know this, but they might end up changing it by the time this video comes out. So basically I put out a video, I think it was Thursday and come to find out that it did not get recommended on Facebook. And I'm like, well, that's strange. The music is fine, you know, because, you know, Facebook, they have so much copyright infringement. And, you know, if the song is doing that, they're not going to recommend it on Facebook. So I'm like, OK, I try to find songs that will be allowed on Facebook. Right. Too much. But anyways, basically, like if you put a poll on a Instagram reel, basically, it will not get recommended on Facebook. I was like, well, that wasn't the case like a few weeks ago when I put a poll on the video and it still got recommended on Facebook. But now if you do that, it's not going to get recommended. And I'm just like, Instagram, Instagram. I can't keep up. <laughs> like, is it just me? Like, I just cannot keep up anymore sometimes because it's just like, y'all have way too many updates and it's the updates that no one asked for. Like some stuff I'm like, okay, cool. That helps. But some of the stuff is just all over the place. It's chaotic. And, you know, as a content creator, you have to be willing to adapt to all of these changes, especially if you are using these apps. But it's like when it's too much, it's like, all right, y'all are really, really taking it there, okay? But like I said, it's been a love and a hate relationship with Instagram and I just really had decided that I was just gonna quit altogether, right? But I told myself, no, I have an audience on there as well. I have a whole community on there and you know, I can't just give up on Instagram. But it is best to have a TikTok and an Instagram, of course, because you just never know, like, what brand will see you on which platform. So I feel like you should have both. But Instagram has been a chaotic mess. It is really so hard to get following on Instagram at this point. Like, it is really crazy. Honestly, I've noticed that half of my TikTok friends, they are the ones that are on my Instagram. Y'all know that on Instagram, you could have this many followers one day. And then all of a sudden, you lose, like, 50 followers. And I'm like, where are y'all going? <laughs> I mean, I know like half of that stuff is bots, of course. But I told myself I'm going to stay with it. I'm going to keep posting, even though my engagement and my views is just terrible, y'all. Like, all those clone videos that I did last year, like, they barely hit a 1,000. When I can't even get that, that's when I know something is up with the platform. And it's getting a little better this year with the views and stuff, but I'm still in a hate and love relationship, you know, with it. But I'm actually just really proud of myself for sticking with it and not giving up because, like I said, it was so many times I wanted to give up on that app, y'all. Like, I did not want to be on there. I just wanted to focus on my TikTok and YouTube, but I decided to give Instagram a chance again. Last year, if you're familiar with the brand The Lip Bar that I love and that I'll be wearing on my lips today, they posted me on their story. They responded on my videos. And I'm just thinking to myself, now what if I had stopped posting on Instagram? Not to say that they won't say anything on TikTok, but what if they didn't? And I just decided to leave Instagram altogether. So that's why I say to myself, like, Kimmy, you cannot leave Instagram because you just never know, like, what brand that you'll land on Instagram that you may not land on TikTok. And what's so funny enough is that I haven't even posted that I reached 2K followers. Like I was about to post it, 
And then I had to hold myself because I was like, don't do it. Y'all won't believe. When I had reached 2,000 followers and then it had started going up a little bit more, I was like, okay, maybe I can announce. Tell me why I lost, like, even more followers. Like, it went all the way back down to, like, I think 1994. And I'm like, Instagram. Instagram. I thought we were getting it together. I thought our relationship was repairing. And it wasn't. It, it betrayed me. And so I was just like, you know what? I can't even announce this yet because it's like every time you try to announce it. The followers go back down. And then I'm just like, people going to look like, I thought she said she reached 2,000 followers. I, I did, but it went back down. I probably won't announce on my Instagram until it's up there a little bit. And then I'll be like, hey, I I've reached 2,000 followers because you could announce it and then lose 50 followers. And I'm, I'm learning to just, you know, just wait on it before you announce it because... Yeah, Instagram will do you dirty. So thank you so much for supporting me on there and, you know, showing up and being there for me every week because sometimes I really want to just go ahead and just delete that app. I don't know about you, Kimmy Bay, but I love me some black eyeshadow. It's just, uh, it makes you just feel like bold. <laughs> I just love like dark and bold colors. And I just feel like with this, I feel like a bad girl, you know, like it makes you want to put on your all black leather outfit and you just go out there and you're just like a bad girl. And that's just what I feel like with this eyeshadow. I cannot wait until I'm an expert at eyeliner because I struggle with that so bad. I cannot get that thing to wing for its life. It be winging, but it don't wing the way that I need it to wing. So far, the, I think the vision is coming together just a little bit. Um, but this is the eyeshadow pattern that I decided to go with. For LCK, I am still on cloud a million about that because I didn't know what to expect. I know that I was linking everything. I already had knew from previous creators. They were like, you know, how they got in was because they kept linking like everything down from the necklace to the socks. Sometimes I'll doubt myself at first. And be like, oh, I'm, I just can't do it. I, I feel like they're going to deny me. But I don't know. I just got this feeling in my spirit like, okay, girl, you're going to get in. And then they asked the frequency of how many times you post. And I was just like, well, weekly <laughs> for sure. Like I'm, I'm showing up like weekly and everything. And, you know, it's not like I'm lying about it. You know, I'm telling the truth. I mean, you can look at the dates and see. I was just like, I didn't feel nervous about it when I submitted the application. I was just like, okay, just do it and see what happens. And again, if you get in, amazing. But if you don't get in, we're going to reapply again. And I've been hearing that so many content creators were saying that they had got denied. And I was just like, oh gosh. But I was just like, get that out of your head. You know, just think positively and see what happens. And your girl got in to the LTK creator program. I applied in August. And got in the next day. And I thought maybe it was going to take them maybe months, you know, because I heard some people say, like, you know, it took them a long time before they approved it or they didn't get approved and got denied. And I was like, oh, Lord, it's probably going to take a long time for them to approve it. But when I got that email the next day, <laughs> that's literally my reaction. Like, you should have seen my husband. My husband looked at me like, what is going on? I mean, once you get into LTK, that's big, okay? Because now you're able to link everything. From this necklace to the shoes to your skincare, you can put on your LTK and get commission for it. I feel like last year with me getting back into the swing of things of how I wanted my content creator journey to be and what I wanted my page to look like with fashion and beauty and lifestyle, I just felt like this is the perfect time this year to go ahead and apply. It has been a great experience so far as an LTK creator. I have been putting in the work already because you know me, I do not wait around. I go ahead and get stuff done. I've been putting so much stuff on there from previous posts that I've done. I mean, this is what they tell you to do because you want to make sure that you have enough posts so then that way people can shop and take a look at your content and be like oh okay like oh i want that jacket oh i want that outfit oh i love that you know you want that effect so i just been making sure to be consistent the holidays are coming up 
and I will be linking everything on there. So I will be dropping the LTK link on this video. Definitely make sure that you take a look. Shop until you drop, okay? I've gained three followers already. That, that's big to me. I'm just really excited to see where LTK takes me. And I just feel like with LTK, I'll be able to grow more as a creator and you're able to shop my looks and be able to shop my beauty products. decided that I wanted to try a new blush today and why not do that with glow with confidence sun blush sun gaze 50 and I just feel like this color is going to be so pretty it's super pigmented in my opinion and I feel like it could look really good on my skin so let's see if this particular blush will become my favorite because I've been wanting to try a new blush and I feel like this is a really good blush color for the fall so let's see if it passed the test Oh my God. Wow. I really am loving the color so far. Of course, I have to blend it out some more and put it on my other cheek. For the fall, you definitely need a fall lip combo that will look really cute with different makeup looks that you decide to try. So we're going to go with the Lip Bar Savage Lipstick and then we're going to pair it with the Straight Talk lip liner from lip bar and i feel like both of these are going to be really cute so let's try this out and see if we like it definitely feeling this lip combo at first I was scared because I was just like I don't know this might not look right but once it started blending in I'm loving this I mean it's giving really like a burgundy lip and you know your girl loves a matte lip and the fact that it looks like this the lip bar just never disappoint and I'm so glad that I went through with this lip combo because I've been wanting to try it. Definitely let me know what you think of this lip combo because I definitely will be adding this to my fall lip combos list when I'm going out with friends, hanging out with family. We have made it to the final look. What do we think? Is this a really cute fall makeup look? So I have one final announcement that I feel like I definitely had to share with you. And that is, drum roll please. I made my first sale on LTK. Like I just got accepted to this platform in the end of August and then just been curating my LTK from there. And the fact that I made my first sale this month of September is just mind blowing. I'm still stunned. I'm just gonna keep celebrating everything that's coming my way. I know all the hard work that I put into everything. And the fact that I've already made a sale means that I'm in the right direction. And cheers to more sales on LTK because we going up from here. Make sure that you are following me on LTK and that is linked in my bio on YouTube and all of my other platforms, Instagram and TikTok. And then I also will be linking it in the description on this video. Until next time, Kimmy Babes. Hey.